Hi folks, here I am in my minivan. I'm doing a video in here after so long. It's still with me. Um, I kind of like doing stuff out in nature when I can, so that's kind of why I don't really do videos in here, but hey, I don't mind doing them in here too. Uh, gorgeous sunny day today. Just so lovely. Oh, love the spring weather here. So awesome. So I had a so since we've had all this cold weather, and then I dealt with the heat in Florida, and uh, here's my here's my question that I'm going to try and help you figure out for your own vehicle is my, the question is is do you need insulation in a van? And the answer to that is yes and no. Of course, it depends. And I would say for me, the answer would be no. The reason for that is most of what I've dealt with in a van, in the Sprinter, in here, is heat. Uh, heat and humidity. And the most important thing in heat and humidity is ventilation. Good movement of air. That's what really matters. Um, this has no insulation. It has windows all the way around it. Uh, when I would come in from work, um, in Florida and there's a, th there's a thermostat on the wall over there and I'd have the windows cracked, the front and the back windows, it would be 110 degrees in here. Hot man, hot. And all I'd have to do is either drive where I was going and open the window and let it air out or I could open the side windows or the side doors and in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it was completely cooled off to the same temperature as outside and if there was airflow and you didn't have the sun on you it was fine. Uh, Will Burson, he did that. He built his his uh, his Express, his van, without any insulation in it in, in the heat of summers in Florida. And so if you're dealing mostly with heat as what you're insulating for, you really don't need insulation. Just avoid it. You don't need it. Or don't worry about it. If you're dealing with cold, I would say don't go where it's cold in the winter. Vans suck in freezing cold weather. They just do. Uh, it's a small space. You can't get out like you need to in nature. And like in this case, I have a, a case, the Sprinter. Noel Sprinter. There's two inches of insulation in the walls, the ceiling. I couldn't put it in the floors because of the height. But I mean, it packed in with insulation as much as I could have. And in the summer, all that does is all that insulation slowly heats up, or the insulation slows the flow of heat into the van, but then it also traps the heat in the insulation. And so at night, when it would be super hot here, like last, last summer here, it would be hot. And uh, we'd have the vents going and all that stuff. But then in the evenings, outside it would be like 65, 70 degrees, and inside it would be 80, above 80, and we'd have the vents going trying to pull the cool air in, but there was, the walls were so hot and the, the heat was trapped in those walls that it just slowly radiated into our space. And it did that to like midnight, 11 o'clock or midnight, and then it would finally cool off to the outside. So you could walk outside and it was nice and cool. And inside it was just hot, even with fans going, because it, you, we were just a little heat box. Now that works the same way if it's cold and you have your heater running. It will help keep the heat inside. Um, so, I mean, insulation, if you're going to be in colder climates, can be helpful. But the problem is, is usually you have windows everywhere. There's windows all over the place. And those windows just let the cold whoom, straight in. They don't work that well. And so if you have windows, all that insulation doesn't really help and like we have a, an awesome buddy space heater and when it's freezing cold yeah it definitely heats the space up but as soon as you turn off the heater it doesn't take any time at all for the heat to just dissipate and so all that insulation I don't know how much it's really helping because we have glass everywhere and so you know I'm not sure how good insulation is in that case we have it but don't know how much it helps so I would say Skip the insulation, save that money because insulation is super expensive, 
and follow the flip-flop weather. You're, what's the rule? You know, if I can be in flip-flops and shorts and not too hot, then that's the weather to be in for a home and uh, for living on the road. So that's my kind of take on it. Follow the, follow the milder weather um, because you can. You live in a vehicle. You can do that. And so even though I'll be here most of the summer, uh, it's, it's not going to be as bad because in this, in, in an Odyssey, there's no insulation. And so with the airflow, it's going to cool off super fast in the evening, really fast. Cause there's, because that, those windows are going to, the, the cool air is just going to come right in and it's not going to be, the heat's not going to be trapped in here. So, all right, everyone. Hope you like my in the van video. Maybe I'll do a couple more. Bye everybody.